has best-in-class technology, and it's the most capable compact SUV ever. This is the legendary Jeep Compass. Celebrate Jeep Freedom Days with no payments for 90 days and $500 additional bonus cash on your best-selling vehicles. Or well-qualified returning lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2019 Jeep Compass for $219 a month. ABC 7, Alexandria Fire so short-staffed, they're responding to fires despite lacking the recommended number of first responders. The extreme hours worked and last-ditch effort to bring more firefighters in. And 7 is on your side. It's just something that both is infuriating and also heartbreaking, and we just don't want to see an accident that could have been avoided. A father fed up with drivers ignoring the flashing lights and stop sign on his child's school bus. The new enforcement plan as we show you a driver you'd least expect to speed by. And widespread blizzard warnings to our west and that storm is heading this direction when it arrives and what you can expect here for the final weekend of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. <laughs> Cutest fans, you have to see the Stanley Cup babies recreating the most historic moments of the championship and the celebration. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Only on ABC 7, the Alexandria Fire Department facing a shortage. Telling ABC 7 tonight that some trucks are responding to fires despite lacking the recommended manpower. There is a last ditch effort to bring more first responders aboard, but keeping them could be the problem. Annalisa Gale with a story only on ABC 7. Annalisa? I talked to the mayor over the phone. He admits that the Alexandria Fire Department is the only fire department in the region that does not meet the NFPA's recommendations for staffing. Now, this morning's fatal fire here is a reminder to the union that changes are needed soon. Flowers are now laying on the front steps of this home on South Pitt Street where an elderly woman was found dead and an elderly man was rescued on Wednesday morning just after midnight. We we're just all grieving for the family. It was tragic for that family. That was the first thing I thought about. I knew that the folks that went in and did end up saving that elderly man, they were understaffed. Megan Elsey is the president of the union IAF 2141 and an Alexandria firefighter. She says the city needs additional funding in order to keep up with standards recommended by the National Fire Protection Association. Right now, some fire trucks are being operated by three firefighters. The recommended number is four. Within the last 10 years, it's become a major issue. In fact, three of the six fire trucks that responded to this fire on Pitt Street were not staffed with the recommended number. They didn't have enough firefighters to be able to do as efficient a job as they could have done. She's now calling on the city council to step up efforts to fund the fire department that's also struggling with retention. Right now, firefighter jobs are very competitive. And what we are right now is a training ground. Mayor Justin Wilson says the council is working on a grant that will hopefully address the staffing issues. Council will be making its final budget decisions here in the next couple of weeks. I will imagine we will, um, or I, I do imagine we will budget the money in order to, uh, to, uh, to match that grant. Right now, the priority to me is not the safest situation for the citizens of Alexandria. And even if that grant is approved, the union says it could take up to a year to get staffing up to where they'd like to see it. Live in Alexandria tonight, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News. Annalisa, thank you very much. Well, you have seen it so many times. People just driving around a school bus stop sign. Now, one frustrated father started recording it. And look again. Did you see that right there? Another school bus ignoring the flashing lights. Seven on your side's Heather Graff with what Fairfax County Police just started doing after seeing this video. Six-year-old Logan is just one of about two dozen kids who board the school bus beside this busy street in Vienna. So we're at the intersection of Gallows and Quantum Drive. A spot where Logan's dad can't believe his eyes on an almost daily basis. There was a day when I saw six or seven cars just blow past this stopped bus. So on Monday morning, that frustration pushed Sam...